I haven't seen Austin Powers' page. Yeah, we, that's, the movie's kind of a, a comedy anyway. So, you know, typically to parody a comedy, you can't do anything, and especially with something as, as global as Austin Powers. People have just done what there is to do, and I don't know, if we had a joke, I'm sure we'd write it, but nothing's come up organically. One of the funniest meetings that at least I'm involved in is when we sit down on the phone with the lawyer and go through the script. <laughs> it's really great because Seth literally gets up, stands up, and like will stand over the phone and act everything out, and he's got some really amazing parody defense uh, rationalizations. <laughs> and he goes I'm working through. for you. And it's it's really, really, really fun. That should be on the DVD. Yeah. Well, legally it can't be. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin picks on. Uh, this guy over here has had it for a long time. Yeah! The ladies must love that guy. Yeah. All right, go right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Although he's wearing a flash shirt, so that's kind of ironic. <laughs> oh, okay. Cannibal Run, Cannibal Run. All right, let me take this off. This okay, this is this is one of my favorite days of my entire life. Uh, Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise come in to record uh, together. Let me take it back just one step further. Okay. I got to make a movie with Burt Reynolds okay. and fell desperately in love with him the way all Americans do. <laughs> and at the end of the movie, he was like, hey, you know, Seth, I'd really be happy if you'd call me sometime. And I was like, oh. so, <laughs> I was like, well, you know, you know, PR, I'd be real happy if you call me too. <laughs> so I gave him my number, and the next week I get a phone call, and he's like, Seth, it's Bert. And I was like, oh. hey, I want you to come by my house. A couple people are coming over, and well, you know, Dom's going to get on the grill and cook some stuff, and I think it's worth your while. And I was like, <laughs> I'm totally there, dude. I'm there. So we came over, uh, my, my buddy and I came over to his house, and sat and had dinner and just tried to make best friends with uh, Bert and Dom and it was, it was really, really cool. And then later that uh, week we were writing sketches and somebody said, do you think we could do something with Cannibal Run this or that? I said, I'll bet I can get Bert to be in it. So they started breaking this sketch and then I called Bert and I was like, we have something really funny. This is the show we're doing. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but would you and Dom come do it? And they did. They did. And when they walked in, first of all, Dom, who is one of the nicest people on the planet, uh, and a great cook, if you don't already know, <laughs> uh, came in on a walker. So, uh, so you know, he's there, and uh, Bert's there. And the first thing Bert says is like, "Let's do tequila shots. It's nine in the morning." <laughs> so, and, I, and I'm the only idiot that steps up. I'm like, "Let's do it, Bert." <laughs> Both of us realized, like at the bottom of that glass, which was about this big, yeah, we were like, that, that might have been a bad idea. <laughs> so then they get in the booth, and every time Dom screwed up, and again, Dom's on the walker, Bert slaps him. But not just slaps him, kind of leans into his face. <laughs> With these like, guys who know each other for like 40, 50 years or something like that. So and you don't, see don't misunderstand, like Bert's an older man, but he, his chest is like an oil drum. He's a solid, massive <laughs> man. It was, just, it was just insane to watch these two interact with each other. And then they just sat on the couch for the rest of the day when they finished recording for like eight hours telling stories of... Well, because we had a bunch of kids coming through to record and we had boys and girls coming in and every single lady that came into the shop bar was like, Hey, how are you? And not, not in a gross way, like not in a Michael Bay kind of way. In a way where, <laughs> like in a, way, in a way where every one of the girls actually said, oh, I'm doing well, how are you? <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Alright. That was somebody in the back, right back there, that gentleman there. Ken, yeah. you're a pretty good moderator. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> this is yes. a great this is a great don't swim. This is one of our favorite our favorite wins as a matter of fact. Uh no, you can tell us one. Well, so Mike Lazo, who is in he's very, very smart. Uh much, much to the antithesis of his image. He's, he's incredibly smart and informed and knows a ton about programming and what will and won't work. And they've given us a ton of leeway making our show, which is a, a real thrill. It was actually um, the first big fight that we had with the network, so to speak. They, Mike read that sketch and he goes, you know, I gotta be honest, guys, I, I wanna give you enough rope to hang yourselves, but I don't think, I don't think the sketch is right. And we fought like crazy. I'm like, let, it, let, me, let me take it to animatic. Let me just put the storyboards to sound. Let me try and show you what we... It's, it's one of these situations. I don't know if you guys know our Tooth Fairy sketch, but it's 
it's one of those ones where we wanted to play with format. We wanted to play with sound and do things that weren't necessarily on camera and just kind of trick your, just see what people could stand. You know, you want to make something that's uncomfortable but not make it really graphic. And so what basically happens is a kid is in his bed and a tooth fairy comes through the window, goes, makes the exchange of the tooth for the coin, and then you hear a domestic disturbance turn on in the room outside this kid's bedroom. The light goes on under the door, the kid wakes up, the tooth fairy's caught in the room, you know? And the kid says, you're the tooth fairy, and she's like, I, I guess I am. And then you hear this whole fight play out where she's like, well, where are you? He's like, what are you doing? You know? And she's like, I'm going to go out with your you know, why do you get a woman? I can't believe you admit to it. There's a, it turns escalates to violence, and you hear like it was domestic, a, a, it's domestic abuse. And what's funny about domestic abuse? But it's it's <laughs> all, <laughs> we didn't even see it as a domestic violence sketch. We saw it as like a really but, uh, funny <laughs> moment. So you know, it's hard to explain because the tooth fairy has to go out. So she's like, you stay right here. And she goes outside, closes the door, and then you hear, who the hell are you? And you know, it's just it's funny. It's, it's funny. <laughs> But, uh, so look it up, it's on the first DVD. So Mike says to us, hey guys, I don't like this sketch. We fought really hard for it. We, we said, please let us put it through the animatic. He says, I, I don't think this is gonna work. Showed him the animatic, he's like, guys, I'm really uncomfortable with this. I'm like, please let us film this. And if we're wrong, we're wrong, but you know, it's, it's a minute and a half, let us put it on there. Yeah, so, and, uh, and we submitted it, and uh, he called us back the day after we submitted it, just saying, guys, I was 100% wrong. This is uh, the, my most favorite thing I put on Adult Swim. And, uh, at the time. Yeah, yeah, frisky thing going on the premiere. That's true. <laughs> no Venture Brothers yet. Yeah. Yeah, got some Frisky fans out there? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I got my Kill Face for President shirt. Can we have a hand up over there? In the hat? Nobody's, the hat. nobody's voting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's, can I tease this? Is sure. We, we just got a, a sketch concept uh, for Battle of the Network Stars. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right? So our thought is that we'll do some kind of tentpole towards the end of an episode that's Battle of the Adults from Network Stars. Already our public for No! <laughs> yes. Come on, Calvi, don't you want to animate C-Lab toys? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Because you want to make them? Right. Well, the best, I mean, there's a bunch of actual product out there. We can kind of play to its limitations. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Faison. <laughs> this is, this is Make-A-Wish in action right here. <laughs> For those of you who don't notice, no joke, uh, while the writer's strike was going on... I can see your butt. I can see your butt. While the writer's strike was going on... Oh yeah, you're going to. Donald intern. I worked as an intern for Robot Chicken. No joke. So you guys... I built puppets. <laughs> How did that go for you? It went great. Uh, it lasted about a month and a half. <laughs> I, I heard the sanding of the heads you didn't like. No, I suck at sanding heads. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Hey, we're pulling up the chair. Oh, All right. that's the blue mayor thing, right? <laughs> I don't, I don't, those of you, for those of you who don't know, Donald played uh, uh, Mumra and uh, Lex Luthor for us in the carport sketch. Oh, yeah. And he also did uh, Dr. Amazon in the Star Wars special. Oh, yeah, he played Dr. Amazon. Uh, I didn't like you. <laughs> I don't like you either. <laughs> that's, that's what we get to do all day. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of the greatest job ever. <laughs> Any questions for Donald? Oh, wait. oh no, we'll, we'll take this one. It's a two point one for him. He wants to know what was the very first sketch you guys did together. Well, pre, pre Robot Chicken, we actually, the, the whole thing was kind of conceived around this uh, notion of going to a, a convention. It was me and Conan O'Brien going to like a sci fi celebrity, celebrity, celebrity a convention. Yeah. like this. Because uh, Conan wanted to meet Britney Spears back when she was worth meeting, and then. Um, <laughs> 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 There's a puppet department right there, it's all good. Yeah, Donald, they still want their garage clicker back. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta ask them, I guess. <laughs> you know, Lost Boys 2 is coming out sometime soon. Yeah. 
Sailor Online. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. All right. Wait, who